La di da di da, it's the naked dishwasher. La di da di da, it's the naked dishwasher. Good morning, and welcome to the naked dishwasher. Today we have um, our dishes from last night to do, but we also have a special little treat for you, um, and I'll come to that later on. Now. As always, we have started off with our soaking technique. Okay, it's very, very important because there's lots of things on there that you just will not be able to get out. So we soaked it in hot water using the, uh, as always, palm olive essential cleaner. Now I wish you could be in this room because the scents that are coming out right now, it's, it's just palmy and it is chemically and it gives you a lovely kind of Christmassy feeling um, at a rave. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with the wine glass. Now, as, as always, we put the water on and we give it just a little bit of a rinse off. Okay? And that's that. And as you can tell, right now, this is perfectly clean. There is no suds on it. And we put it down on our pre-prepared pre dished cloth to dry, just like this. Now make sure when you do this, you put it upside down, because if you don't, you see this, all the water from inside is going to get caught in there. And that is something that you do not want, because that way it's never going to dry. So we just turn it upside down like this and put it down, okay? Same goes for mugs okay now with some mugs you need to get your little scrubber and give it a little scrub inside okay make sure that you get all the corners very very important and sometimes the wife wears lipstick so you need to get all the outside as well and of course that covers spillage as well now as always I have my faithful helper Mr. Duperson here say hello Mr. Duperson Mr. Duperson shy today once again, you got to make sure that you don't put it that way. Put it upside down. Upside down. Now, we made curry. And the curry has stuck to the sides of the saucepan. However, we've been soaking it. So as you can tell, already there's virtually no curry on there. This is going to make it a lot easier to just go in there, give it a scrub, Pour it out, make sure you pour it out. Very important to pour the water out because you don't want to be cleaning your dishes with dirty water. That could just lead to diseases like AIDS and syphilis. There you go, look at the inside of that. Now you can tell still that there are bubbles in there, but other than that, it's looking pucker. So what we do is we give it a nice rinse out, make sure you rinse out the sides as well. Okay, and now that is clean as a whistle with a little bit on the side there that we forgot. Make sure it's always important. Like they say in the builder's trade, measure twice, cut once. Okay, so wash twice, you only have to clean it once. Now this is kind of difficult because do you put it in the rack or do you put it on the tea towel? Personally, I always put these on the tea towel. You can make your own decision. I'm not telling you it's the law, but you can make your own decision. This is just what I do for ease. So there it goes. And once again, of course, you put it down, upside down. Now we've got a plate. The plates have been soaking. As you can tell, they're pretty clean already. Now we had some stuck on rice on this, okay? Because rice is sticky. It's still very important. To give it a once over just to make sure you get everything off and then rinse it off and as you can tell clean as a whistle or what do we say pucker and then we put this in the rack now the rack is very important for plates because it allows the water to drain off and that makes it a lot easier when it comes to dry we have another plate once again it was full of rice, stick, stuck on rice. 
as you can tell, it's been soaking for 20 minutes. I put it to soak just before I went to the shops. Okay, so it gave it a good 15, 20 minutes to soak, which gave it plenty of time to get everything off. Just turn the water back off, okay? Give it a nice rinse off, and once again, around, around, and around. Three times is normally the best way to do this, because once, you've always got a chance of missing something. Twice, you could potentially still miss something. There might be a little bit of rice that's still stuck on there. Three times, go. Pucker. And now we've got more cups, okay? Give them a swirl inside. Rinse it out. Double rinse because you don't want any soapy residue left in there because that will make your tea taste horrible. And nobody likes a horrible cup of tea. Rinse it out, see the water coming out. And there you go, see, nothing in there. No soap at all. Put it in there, upside down. Okay, so, as I promised you earlier, I've got lots more dishes here to do. But like I promised you earlier, I have got a surprise for you. And that will be coming after this commercial break. So I'll see you in Welcome a few. Welcome back to the Naked Dishwasher. Now, as you can see, whilst you were away watching those lovely commercials, I did finish off all of the dishes, okay? Now, you may notice that in the rack, I have put a couple of glasses. That's okay. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Preferably, for me, once again, this is for me only, preferably, you would put them on the tea towel. But, as you can tell, there's not much space left on the tea towel. So we had to use the rack. We've got two glasses and a cup there, and they will dry perfectly, so you don't even have to worry about that, okay? So just leave them go, everything will be fine. Now, before the break, I told you that I had a surprise for you. Now, ordinarily, we wouldn't do this. We set this up for the purposes of this show. A couple of days ago, once again, we had rice, okay? Now, we left the rice, and it was a fair amount of rice, I'm going to say a fair amount, uh, in the bottom of the rice cooker. Tricky. Like I say, ordinarily we wouldn't do that. But what we have done is, as always, as I've told you in previous shows, we've soaked it. Now, if you can see that, the rice was fully stuck to the bottom, but now you can swirl it around. Okay, and the rice will become unstuck. Now, will all the rice become unstuck? No, it won't. I think we've seen that in previous episodes as well, that sometimes the rice just will not become unstuck. However, we have our ways. So what we do is we take all this rice, okay, and we just tip it into the trash compactor. As you see, see all that rice there? That was in there. You can tell it's already got a lot out by soaking. Don't forget people, always soak, always soak. Soaking is incredibly important in this. We always need to soak. We've still got the dish water here, as you can tell. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put that in there and just swirl it around a little bit. You know, just with my fingers, just to see if we can get off any excess rice, make sure that there's nothing really big stuck to the bottom of the pan anymore. So we just swirl it around and let's see. There you go, as you can tell, it's pretty much all gone now. Now this is gonna make it a lot easier for us to get our scrubber. And of course, don't forget for the corners, we've got the smaller one. But for right now, we'll just use this. And we'll fill it up with a little bit of water. And this always has detergent in it. So you don't have to worry about putting any detergent in the actual pan because this has the detergent in it, and it's got this little button here, it's very clever. Press it, detergent comes up. So you just get in there, give it a bit of a scrub, go around the corners, don't forget, three times. So there's one, there's two, and there's three, okay? Let's tip that water out. Make sure that we've got no residue on the sides. None of the rice is still there and the rice on the sides has gone, okay? Now for the bottom, we are gonna need it. There's still some residual um, detergent in there, but we're just gonna get a little bit. 
some of the suds just use that and get in there get in the corners let me see how I do it okay all the way around one two three there's the corners and then give the bottom a good scrub because that's where the heat is coming from the rice cooker to cook the rice so that's where it's going to stick the most so we go around one two three times and then we rinse it up and as you can tell the rice is gone now the tea towel is still full so we're just going to put it on the rack and of course we go in here and we unplug the sink all that water will disappear you don't have to worry about it we don't know where it goes but it will disappear and then we clean everything up here and you know what everything looks it looks pucker so thank you very much for joining me today from the naked dishwasher i will say goodbye da -de -da -de -da, it's the naked dishwasher la di da di da it's the naked dishwasher